Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to custom sort your data set based on multiple columns within Power BI. So let's get started with this tutorial. So first of all, um, so I learned about a new technique called as RFM analysis, uh, which basically helps us in understanding or analyzing our customers based on their uh, recency, frequency and monetary values. So RFM, that's what it stands for, recency, frequency and monetary. I will not be going into details into how to create this particular analysis in this video. But however, if you are interested, do let me know in the comment section and I can help create a tutorial in detail talking about this particular technique. So coming back to sorting our table uh, by multiple columns. So coming back to sorting our table by multiple columns. So here I have recency, frequency. I have the monetary values. So these value here stand for basically EL stands for extremely low, H is for high, L for low and M for medium. Pretty straightforward. So now I want to sort them by order. For example, I want the high to appear on top. The EL, the extremely low should come over here. Now, when I was working with Tableau, uh, it was really simple wherein I could just drag and drop the values above here to sort the values. For example, if I want extremely low over here, I can simply click, I can simply click and drag and drop EL to the below section over here and my uh, values will get sorted. I can do the same thing here as well and I can do the same thing here as well. I can simply click on H over here and drag it towards the left. My H will get sorted in the custom order the way I wanted this. But in Power BI, unfortunately, we don't have that option where, wherein we can just drag and drop. I hope Power BI is listening and they come up with this feature wherein it becomes really easy for us to uh, custom sort values in a table or a matrix. So for now, I will show you a workaround which will help you sort the table by multiple columns. So what I have done over here is I have added a new table here. You can also do this by simply using an if statement as well. You don't really necessarily have to uh, have a new table in your data set. But for the ease of this particular tutorial, I have added this and you can follow this way as well. So I have added two columns in this particular uh, table over here. One is I have label and the other is I have the sort. So these are the values that it will get sorted by. So what I will now do is I will head over to the Power Query editor and I will start merging these two tables over here. So let me go to the uh, merge query section over here, click on merge queries. And now I'm going to select the monetary field from my fact table over here. And then I'm going to select the sort by field over here and choose the label column and click on OK. So once this is merged over here, I'm going to click on this particular icon and uncheck the label column here, select the sort. I'm going to uncheck use original column name as prefix and then click on OK. And now this is sorted. So what I will now do is I will rename this particular column over here and call this as monetary sort. And now if you can see here, H is now one. EL is now four. This is exactly what we wanted. And now we will repeat the same steps here for the other two columns as well. So I'm going to select frequency here from the drop down sort by select the label, click on OK, expand this sort by table over here, click on sort. And now let's rename this and call this as frequency sort. I'm going to repeat the step one last time over here. I'm going to select the recency, select the sort by table, click on label, click on OK and then expand this particular table or column over here and then click on rename and say recency underscore sort. So once I have brought in or merged all of these three columns over here and now I'm going to say click on close and apply and once this is the changes have been applied over here you can simply select the column that you want to sort. First let's begin with the monetary column over here. Let's go to the column tools and under sort by column let's choose monetary sort. And let's repeat the same step here for frequency as well. So I'm going to choose sort by column and frequency sort. I'm going to come to recency, sort by column, recency sort. So now all of these three columns have been sorted. So let's go back to our report view. And now you will see that we have sorted the columns here by high, medium, low and extremely low. We've sorted within the frequency table, uh, frequency column as well. And the same thing has been sorted in the row as well of our monetary column. So this is how you can custom sort multiple columns within Power BI. Unfortunately, it's a little longer process when compared to Tableau where you can simply drag and drop. But 
for now this is what we will have to stick to and I'm, I'm not sure if there is any other option uh, which is available to custom sort um, if you are aware of anything please do let me know in the comment section and i'll be happy to know about it so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope you enjoyed this tutorial you learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials